My name is Darren McKinney. I am a musician, saxophonist, and retired police officer in Detroit, Michigan. I am raising money to provide free music tutoring, free musical instruments for underprivileged children in the city of Detroit. And my goal is to reach 5,000 kids giving away 5,000 musical instruments free of charge. And the plan, the goal is to do that within five years. Within five years. I am a product of Detroit Public Schools Music Department and have witnessed the decline in the music programs with the closing of schools, literally over a hundred schools in the city of Detroit over the last 25 years. I was able to go to college on a band scholarship. Southern University marching band. And let me expand on that before I go back to my notes here. I didn't have the GPA. I didn't have the grade point average. You know, I went to Martin Luther King High School and there was a coach there, Coach Winfrey. He was an alumni of Southern University. He called the band director, Dr. Isaac Graves. He told me to call him and I called him. I hadn't even filled out an application for the college. Called Dr. Graves. And uh, he said to me, I said, I understand you play saxophone. I'm like, yes, sir. He said, where's your horn? I said, uh, it's in the case. He said, go get it. This is the band director. And he's going on to glory, uh, Dr. Griggs. Um, but he asked me to pull out my sax and play it over the phone. And I played over the phone <laughs> and received a band scholarship and was on the Greyhound bus down to Southern University. I thank God for that. I didn't have the academic GPA. I was not the sharpest knife in the drawer, flat out. And I'm not ashamed to say it, glory to God. That was a blessing. Music kept me out of trouble, and that's the truth. Music kept me out of trouble, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Studies have shown that students who complete music courses score higher on their SATs, have higher GPAs, and receive more academic honors than their counterparts. But once they graduate from high school, it's not test scores but a love for music that drives them to continue their studies. That's a fact. And I'm going to tell you, we're going to start, I'm going to say uh, eight, and we're going to go all the way up to, I'm going to say 14, eight to 14. Those are the ages. Those are the critical times in a young person's life. And I have children, and they play musical instruments. I thank God for that. I thank God for that. We have to stand in the gap for these parents. We have to stand in the gap for the closing of music programs in the city of Detroit. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm believing God, we'll be able to expand this to all the states throughout this country. 